Northern California, in the small town of Weed, dozens of homes burned to the ground and fire crews racing to save the most vulnerable. Deaf elderly couple exploded in size to 124,000 acres spanning multiple counties, including Yolo and Solano. It triggered thousands of mandatory evacuations with homes burning to the ground. Let's get quickly now to our Kevin John Day. Rob Carmark in his backyard tracking that dangerous wind and air quality. But first, the breaking news with Carlos Herrera live near Oroville. A fast moving wildfire is forcing thousands of evacuations right now. Carlos. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have another gas mask to go over from my good friends over at Mira Safety. So today we have their fire escape pro kit. Now being in the Western portion of the United States, Southern California specifically, um, wildfires are very, very much a threat that we face pretty much year round. Um, this year has been a little wetter than most years, so not as big of an issue. However, that threat is never fully gone. Um, typically, we don't see a lot of rainfall. People are irresponsible, tossing cigarette butts, military ranges. Uh, the rounds catch the brush on fire, and that spreads for thousands of acres. And obviously, there's housing here, out in town, everywhere that is affected, businesses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it will jump highways and continue to spread. So. With that being such a threat, um, you know, I thought this was a good piece of gear to have. And the guys over at Mirror Safety sent this out to me and said, hey, go ahead and do a review on it, and we'd love to send you the product. So that's not gonna affect my review. Obviously, the only way to test this would be to uh, be in a fire um, or some sort of heavily smoked area. So we're just gonna kind of go over the specifics of it, what it can help prevent, what it can't, and what it doesn't do. And uh, hopefully you'll be a little bit more prepared for you and your family to uh, get to safety and give you those extra minutes that could be very vital. So first up in the kit, we have the mask itself. So the mask itself is the CM6M from Mira Safety. It's got that full open face shield here, and it obviously has spots for two canisters, which are the 40 millimeter NATO standard. So any of your uh, 40 millimeter uh, gas mask canisters will attach to this mask. You do not have to use these specific. You can use this for multiple things. However, for this setup here, it is specifically for smoke and carbon monoxide. So. Um, just like the last mask I reviewed, this thing uh, is awesome, has a drinking tube uh, included into it. So all you do is turn this valve here and that rotates the hose, which is uh, in here. And I'll show that later inside the mouth here because the camera's a little bit far away right now. And basically what that hose does on the outside here is it hooks into your canteen to allow you to drink fresh water without exposing yourself to those elements that you're trying to protect yourself against. All right. so. We've gone over two items in the kit, the gas mask, the CM6M, and then your, uh, your canteen that allows you to hydrate with the mask. All right, so our canisters here. So these are the VK530 uh, canisters. These are manufactured in Italy, and they have a five-year shelf life. All right, so um, specifically what these are for is for smoke, um, hazardous chemicals that kind of get wafted up, wafted up into the air when uh, stuff's burning, carbon monoxide, etc. This is not for CS gas or anything crazy like that. So your canisters are what give you your filtration. So if you're using the wrong canister for the wrong application, you might have a bad day and uh, I would not recommend that. So these are specifically for smoke, carbon monoxide, and those toxic chemicals that kind of get in the air as things are burning, burning through homes, businesses, etc. It'll help filter out that nastiness so you guys aren't breathing that in. Again, to prolong you getting to safety, this is not for you to sit there and keep breathing that in and exposing yourself for hours on end until these filters just can't do their job anymore. It's to prolong you to get to safety to a clear area and therefore not breathe in all that nastiness. So just food for thought. And then it comes with a nice case. So this wraps around your waist, wraps around your leg, and then secures itself to your body and you can have it on the go. If you so choose to feel like that threat is imminent, maybe you're watching the news, wildfires are going around, you still have stuff to do, errands, you gotta go pick kids up from the school, throw this on your body, you're good to go in case you run into that uh, instance where you need to don it really quick and uh, you're not searching in the back of the truck or, oh crap, I left it at home. So let's uh, dive into it a little bit more. Let's get a closer look at these products and we'll go from there. All 
All right, guys, so again, here are those filters. Again, it is the VK530 manufactured in Italy. And here's our expiration date here. So they have that five year shelf life. These expire in April of 2028. So five years from now, these things will be no good. I need to go ahead and purchase new ones. Now, I'm not saying these things will be completely trash. However, you will not be, uh, won't be guaranteed that they're gonna do what they're supposed to do at the level they're supposed to perform at. So there's that. Use at your own risk after those five years. So let's go into the uh, CM, 6M mask. So not gonna go into crazy detail here, but you can see you have that full frontal. This thing's got pretty much 90% visibility, a uh, very good field of view, nothing obstructing in the middle, full open face, which is awesome. You do have that uh, mouthpiece here, so that way you can talk and intelligibly hear someone. And then you have your 40 millimeter canister threads here that way you can go ahead and hook those canisters up so just to walk you through it real quick I'm gonna go ahead and obviously when you're using these filters you're gonna take this plug off so that way you can actually you know collect air because if you have it with this piece on there you're not gonna get any air and then you're not gonna be able to breathe so it has to be open and then those filters in there you see them right there all those layers of filtering will do its job all right so Obviously for this, I'm not using it, so I'm gonna leave that in, so I don't forget to put it back in. And then this just screws right in, like normal, and then there you go. This side is blocked off, this is just a cap, you unscrew that and then you can put your other filter in, that way you have both filters. However, you could run it with one if, you know, maybe the smoke wasn't too bad. However, I would suggest if it is gonna get heavy, go ahead and run both canisters, that gives you more air to breathe in, one filter's not, uh, clogging itself up trying to overwork to compensate for your clean breathing air all right so as i discussed earlier with that mouthpiece so this netting obviously goes over your head you got your retention buckles here that way you can tighten it up to your head you want to get a good face form fitting seal so sometimes guys with beards um etc cetera, etc cetera, might not be able to get the best seal on the gas mask if you feel any air getting in after you put this on your face then you do not have a proper seal and it's not gonna work out for you. So you wanna pretty much have it like this, stick it to your face and then go ahead and rip this uh, netting over the back of your head and then tighten these retention, retention straps down until you can uh, breathe in and not feel any air getting in anywhere else other than right here. All right, so with that drinking tube, once you have uh, this tube here connected to your canteen, the top then inside here is this mouthpiece that allows you to drink so right now it's kind of stored out of the way but you rotate this and it rotates right into where your mouth would be and then you just rotate it right back out of the way so you don't have to reach in here you don't have to break the seal you don't have to do anything to be able to drink water except just hook that hose up rotate this to your mouth do what you got to do rotate it back so pretty easy now hooking it up to the canteen super easy as well Go ahead and get this out of the way and pop this off right here. So this is just a uh, little retention tab, keeping it uh, in place for you. Let's so go ahead and pull that off. And then this is just gonna pop into the top of this cap here. Now, it can be a little bit rough for the first couple of times, because obviously this is gonna make a good seal and not allow any air and everything to get in. So you wanna kind of get it started and keep pushing. All right, cool. And then see how it locks itself into place. Now all you do is just hold your canteen, tilt it so that way the water can flow down. Rotate that mouthpiece, drink, drink, drink. Do what you gotta do. Go ahead and pop this thing off. And then you can go ahead and stow this back on the side of your mask to keep it free and clear of anything else uh, damaging it or getting in the way. So you've got this little hook right here that your cap hooks onto. And then there you go, it's out of the way and ready to use at a later time. So let's go ahead and put this thing on, see, see what we look like. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, uh, the fire kit, guys. All right, guys, so I got the mask on. Everything is sealing up correct, correctly. Now, if I felt a little bit of air getting in on the sides here, all I would do is just grab that uh, buckle here and just pull these retention straps to be able to tighten it down and get that good seal along my face. Now, what I'm gonna show you is, 
This is the open side right here, so this is where I'm getting all my air in right now. Now if I block that off, the mask should suck itself to my face because no air is getting in. So I'm going to go ahead and block that off and show you a good tight seal. Alright. So you can see the mask sucking in when I'm trying to get air because nothing can get in because it's, it's airtight. Now when I let it off and I breathe in, I don't get that because now the air is flowing through here. So you got your mask on, you want to go ahead and put your filter on, just find your hole and then go ahead and tighten it down. All right, so because I didn't have this cap off, I couldn't get any air. So if you can see me struggling a little bit, it's because there was no air in there and I was trying to talk. So go ahead and pop this off. Do that again, and now I can get air, and the filter is doing its job. So you can feel that it's a lot more restricted trying to get that air in here. However, you can breathe. So when you have this other filter here, after you take this cap off, it'll get that much more air in there, and you won't struggle as much to compensate the body for the oxygen that it needs. Especially if you're running around trying to help your family and do stuff, you're going to get winded very, very quickly if you're not running both canisters to get more airflow in. All right, like this, it's fine, but obviously this doesn't do you any good at all. All right, guys, so that's the Fire Pro Kit from Mirror Safety. I want to thank those guys for sending this Fire Pro Kit out to me. Um, make sure you guys check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description. If you are in the western part of the United States, you are... Um, exposed to wildfires quite frequently i do i do suggest you guys get prepared not only with the gas mask but be prepared to have a couple of bags ready to go to get you and your family to safety thanks for watching guys have a good one